Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at fractions of an amount. When we're looking at fractions of an amount, as we've said in the introduction to fractions video, the denominator, so the bottom number of our fraction, is how many bits the whole has been split into. And the top number is what we're talking about. So for example, if I wanted a half of 100, I've split 100 into two parts, and I'm talking about one of those. So I've done 100 divided by 2. Same as if I need a third of 30. I'm putting 30 into three separate parts, and I'm talking about one of those. So I'm doing 30 divided by 3. A quarter of 44, 44 divided by 4. A fifth of 35, 35 divided by 5. So when we're doing fractions of an amount, and it's the fraction has a 1 as the numerator, I'm doing the amount divided by the denominator, because I'm splitting that number into that many equal parts. Pause the tape and give these a go, and we'll have a look at the nice ones first. OK, hopefully you got these as your answers. So we were doing the amount divided by the denominator. Now, the denominator isn't always a one, especially at level two. So sometimes we've got um, a numerator of a number greater than one. Again, we're doing the exact same thing. So on this first one, two thirds of 21, I'm doing 21 divided by three, which gives me seven. And I need two of those. So that gives me 14. 3 quarters of 90, 90 divided by 4 times by 3. 40 divided by 10 times by 7. So when I've got fractions where the numerator is not a 1, divide by the denominator, multiply by the numerator. That's going to work for every single fractions of an amount question. Again, give these a go and we'll have a look at the answers. Lovely stuff. So hopefully, these are what your answers are. So you're doing the number, so the amount divided by the denominator, then whatever your answer to that is multiplied by the numerator. Let's see what it could look like in an exam question. So here's two questions worth two marks and three marks off a non-calculator paper. So give these two a go for me, please. So pause the tape and then let's have a look at the answers together. OK, let's have a look at these. So that first one, 5 eighths of 320. So what I need to do for 5 eighths of 320 is what we've been doing all along. So I'm doing the, the amount divided by the bottom. So 320 divided by 8. Let's bus stop it. So how many eights in 3? There isn't any. How many eights in 32? There's 4. How many eights in 0? There isn't any. So 1 eighth of 320 is 40, but I want 5 of those. So 5 eighths is 200. This was a two mark question. It was one mark for your process. So knowing you needed to divide by eight, that was mark number one was for finding out your one eighth. Mark number two then was for finding out your five eighths. OK, let's have a look at this question. So they need 25 lollipops and they see this offer. So a normal bag is 18 lollipops. Do they have enough with this offer? So you're getting a third extra free. So I need to find out what a third of 18 is. So 18 divided by 3 gives me 6. So we're getting 6 extra lollipops. So I've got 18 lollipops. I'm getting 6 extra lollipops. So I've got 24 lollipops. So that was mark number 1. This is mark number 2. Um, does Do they have enough? They need 25. They've got 24. No, they've got 24, not 25. My third mark was for knowing I had to answer the question. So for writing my no, so no and 24 got me the third mark there. So I, I wouldn't get any marks for just writing yes or no. I would have needed to have backed it up with the maths. OK, here's another four marker, another non-calculator. Sorry, here's another non-calculator this time worth three, four marks. Pause the tape. Give this one a go for me, please. 
OK, let's have a look at these. So we know that the choices were pasta, stew or chicken, and there was 240 people in total. So a third chose pasta. So 240 divided by three. How many threes in two? There isn't any. How many threes in 24? There's eight how many threes in zero there isn't any so i know that 80 people chose pasta that got me mark number one three eighths chose beef stew so i need to work out three eighths of 240 so eight divided by 240 so how many eights in two there isn't any how many eights in 24 there's three how many eights in zero there isn't any so 30 is one eighth but I need three eighths. So I'm going to need to do my 30 times three. So 90 people chose beef stew. That gets me mark number two. So there's 240 people in total. I know 80 chose pasta, 90 chose beef stew. So for knowing I need to take away, so for writing out this calculation, that is mark number three. And for my final answer of 70 people chose chicken, that's my fourth mark. Be really careful when you're dealing with fractions of an amount. The words of and off can sometimes be confusing. So what we've just been working out is of. We've worked out that, uh, that a third of 240 gives me 80. If it was off, I would need to then go and take it back off the original amount. So let's have a look what this might look like. So here's a question. At a safari park, Mrs. Lawson sees this offer. It's a three marker. It is a calculator, a third off the cost of photography today. How much is the cost of photographs with this special offer? Show a check of your answer. So pause this. Give this one a go for me, please. Now, this was a calculator paper, but I still need to remember to write down all of my working out. So on this one, I'm doing my 1260 divided by 3, which gives me 420. That was mark number one. Now, they're getting £4.20 off. So I need to go back and do my 1260, take away my £4.20. So mark number two was for knowing it was costing £8.40. It says show a check of your answer. Now, a check is usually a reverse calculation. So the last sum I did, which is this one, 1260 take away 420 equals 840. I'm going to do a reverse of that as my check. So as my check, I'm going to do £8.40 plus £4.20 equals £12.60. So that's doing a check. So mark number one for 420, mark number two for 840, mark number three for my check. Okay, last one. Here's a two marker, level two, calculator question. Pause the tape and give it a go, please. Right, let's have a look on this one. Now on this one, it was buy early, pay three fifths of this price. So I was doing my 850 divided by five times by three which gives me my £5.10. Nothing else I needed to do. A ticket costs £5.10. Those last two questions I've used to show you the difference between of and off. In this final question, she was paying three-fifths of the price. And in the one before, she was getting a third off the price. So be really careful that you've read the question fully. OK, so that's fractions of an amount. Any questions, pop in the comments. I'm happy to help. Uh, please like and subscribe and best of luck with your studies.